Hey guys, how's it going? Crunchy here. Welcome back to another Q&A Sunday. So the footage in the background right now, I haven't exactly got to yet. I'm not really too sure what it's going to be. I'm recording this in just preparation for double XP weekend because I don't want to be making this like obviously when I'm trying to play the game and get as much XP as possible. So I'm going to record this audio first and then I'll go ahead and shove some footage in the background. Not too sure what it might be yet. It might be some prep for double XP weekend. I'm not really too sure, but hopefully you do enjoy it either way. If you don't want to watch it, if it doesn't interest you, feel free just to listen to the video whilst you escape and all that stuff and probably whilst you're doing double xp weekend stuff so hopefully you guys have got the levels and xp that you want so far let's go ahead though and kick off with the first question so the first question comes from jake sayer and he says do you have any old recording equipment if so would you be willing to sell it so yes, over the time I've been making videos, I have gone through various different equipments. I've gone through different keyboards, mice, microphones, monitors, all that stuff, webcams. And I have actually kept every single um, piece that I've ever had just because if one of my things break, I always have something to go back onto. And if I want to sell it in the future, I can. And you know, it's just as a backup, I guess I do have them. Willing to sell it? Probably, yeah. It depends obviously what you're after. And if anyone else in my family wants it, because if my brother and sister, if they want to suddenly start doing YouTube as well, you know, I mean, they're going to want to have it. But it depends, I guess, on what you're after. But yes, I would be willing to sell it at some point. Next up, we have a question from Samuel and he says, how old are you for one? I'm 19 years old, just turned 19 in July. The second one, are you studying? I'm not. I did go to uni. I've done obviously all the school years, college and uni, but uni I dropped out of because it wasn't, it wasn't for me pretty much and I didn't really enjoy it. And three, where are you from? I'm from the UK. I'm not going to go into specific details, but I'm from a county called Surrey. And that's pretty much all you need to know on that one. But hopefully that answered your questions okay. Next up, we have a question from StreetCred. And he says, hey Crunchy, for your next q and I was wondering, what is a decent gaming laptop that I can run RS? I'm on a really, really tight budget because I have to pay bills and stuff like that. So yeah, please and thank you. So I did some research into this one. I'm not going to go through every single one that I found in the video. However, I will leave them down in the description below. I'll link a couple down there and you can go by those sort of specs to look for your own if you want to. And I'll also put a link down there to the RuneScape page, which has their recommendations of the specs of your computer, as opposed to what graphic setting you can or want to be playing on. That's a really useful page. I use that to build my computer and... Uh, I guess the main sort of basics you want to be looking for is A, the processor, and B, the RAM. The RAM is like, it's the memory and it's kind of what makes the computer run as fast as it does and how much it can handle things. So for my computer, I have 12 gigabytes of RAM. I'm shortly upgrading to 16 gig as well. Now that's for me because personally I do Photoshop, I do editing and playing all at the same time. So I have, you know, quite a few things going. I listen to music, watch videos, everything at the same time. And that sort of overloads a computer, um, especially when you're actually recording the game itself. So I guess, you know, for me, I do need the higher RAM. But apart from that, it's just things like the amount of cores it has, the clock speed, the processor, the graphics card. Those sort of things are what you really want to be looking at. And like I said, that link will probably, it's going to go into detail on which one of those can handle which graphics. So that is definitely worth checking out. Something that I would consider though before going out and spending your money on a laptop I would invest the money into an actual PC because they generally last longer if they're tread well and they don't get dusty and stuff like that. Um, they last longer and they're just more reliable and you can also get a ton of a better spec computer for the price of the laptop. I mean, it depends if you have the monitor and that already. If you don't, then it might be a bit more pricey to buy a PC. Uh, but just from personal experience, it's a lot better to get a PC. I mean, if you need it for portability, if you want to take it around with you, I don't know. Um, but if it's just for home, then I would definitely recommend a PC over a laptop any day, just because, like I said, they generally last longer and you can get much better for the money you're paying. Next up, we have a question from Hex of Herbs, and he says, Hi Crunchy, what weapons are you using in this video? And this was on my progress video, episode 17. So I believe I was just using my dual Drygon maces because I've been using those to obviously get 99 strength and work towards that. Very, very close now, by the way. It's really exciting. Um, but yeah, so that's what I was using. The offhand and the main hand Drygon mace. They've actually gone down quite a lot in price as well. So that's quite disappointing. I think the offhand is around 10 mil now and the main hand's about 20, 21 mil. So when I looked to that because I had to repair them and I, I did use a armor stand in a house but I was just looking at how much they were because I was considering going for long swords and yeah they've gone down quite a lot but either way that was a bit off topic but I'm using dual dragon maces. 
Next up we have a question from Boosie Piers and he says great thanks a lot. That was in response to his first question which was one of my next Battlefield 4 video coming out which is very very soon and uh, he also said what's the best thing to train magic? I'm level 67 magic and attack. So they're decent levels, what I would say is probably do some slayer because then you'll be given tasks that you can actually handle and it gives you a variation so you won't get bored. However if you don't want to do slayer uh, it took me a while to actually take this advice on board as well, so don't worry about that. But if you don't want to do Slayer, you can go and do the Dagenheim Monks, I believe they're recommended around this level. Uh, they're actually in the Chaos Tunnels, but you have to do the mini quest Hunt for Sorok. Uh, you have to do that, but as it's a mini quest, I presume it doesn't take long at all. And uh, you can also do the Fungal Mages, they're pretty good XP. I always love doing those as a Slayer task when I used to do those, because the XP is decent, they're quick to kill, and there's always so many of them. So even if an area is crowded, they're just easy to kill. So, and you know, there's so many of them. Like I said, so that's what I'd recommend if you want to go and out of your way and do stuff. However, Slayer is always something that I would rely on and go back to if you do get bored of those different methods. The next question I knew I was going to get, but this is from Just For Laughs and he says, Skiller, you have level 2 prayer. That is on my Darkscape video, the first progress video that I made on Darkscape. Yes, I've made a Skiller on that game. Yes, I have level 2 prayer. Now, some people are telling me to actually go for 99 prayer because I'll only get level 15 combat. So it's not a high combat. Um, that could be like the only combat skill I go for because it's just going to be best for me to have the prayers. So that means it won't be a pure skiller, but prayer will be the only thing I have which is actually combat related. And the reason I have level 2 prayer was because when I first went on to Darkscape the first time to make that video, it was a spare of the moment thing. I didn't know I wanted to make a skiller at the time. I wanted a level for the video and that's why I got prayer because I had the bones and I got it. So at the time I didn't know I was going to make a skiller, but either way I've got level 2 prayer. I'm considering going to 99 because I'll only get, like I said, 15 combat and you guys suggested that to me because it'll make sense as it's a PvP world. However, I'm not really too sure. It's quite fun like trying to be level 3 running away from everyone, uh, so I'm not really too sure yet, but those are my options and that's the answer to that question. And the final question for this week's Q&A comes from LSD Superfruit and they say why do you use 720 if you have a 1080 screen? And this is because like I said previously in this video I spend so much time multitasking, recording, editing, everything at the same time that if I play it in 720 and record it in 720 it just runs so much smoother on my computer. The recording comes out better quality, not like quality as in picture quality but like lag quality. It comes out so much better for you guys and it's just it's a lot easier i'm used to playing on 720 i like it and it means that i can do other stuff on the same monitor as i play at the same time so that's the answer to that pretty much but there we go guys that is every single question i want to answer in this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. if i missed your question i'm really sorry leave it down in the comment section and i'll make sure to answer it in the next one thank you like always guys for watching and submitting all your questions it really helps me out and it basically keeps this series alive so uh, hopefully you guys are having an awesome double xp weekend my question for you guys today is what are you training for double xp weekend what are you working on what are your goals and what have you done so far obviously this is going up on a sunday so let me know down below guys i'm interested to hear let me know thank you again for watching leave it a massive thumbs up if you have enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video